The scatter plot above shows the widths and heights of 12 types of rectangular envelopes. What is the width in inches of the envelope represented by the data point that is farthest from the line of best fit, which is not shown? So first we need to figure out how to draw in our line of best fit. And a line of best fit is basically the line that cuts through the middle of these points, right? So I wouldn't want to do the line of best fit here because it's not quite in the middle of these points. You want to make your line so that it's a minimum distance from all the points, as much as you can do that, right? It's kind of like averaging out the point so that you get a smooth curve rather than what looks kind of disorganized data. You want to smooth it out to get a curve that's more or less in the middle of this data. So let's approximate what this looks like. Let's say that the line is probably, I don't know, like this looks pretty good, something like that, right? Nicely in the middle of as many points as we can get through, right? Hitting as many points and being as close to as many points as possible. So which of these points is farthest from the line of best fit? Well, it's gonna be this one, right? This one is pretty far from the rest. So what is the width in inches of this point? Well, the width is the x-axis, so that's going to be this point has a width of 7. So that is choice C. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.